Hi guys, welcome back for another one. We are continuing today with Transport Fever 2, our Apex Challenge. Every product to every city, and right now we're just following this brand new train we put in last episode. At least I'm pretty sure I put it in last episode. I did, I did, I definitely did. Anyways, we uh, had to end the episode uh, a little bit short after connecting up because I ran over, because I did a couple extra stuff, because, you know, that happens. Anyway, let's zoom out here, and let's go ahead and get started here, because... Today's episode, I got a couple different things I was thinking, and I know I always change my mind as I'm talking to you guys here, and uh, it's possibly it might happen again, but we'll see. Uh, so Glendale, I just want to come back and check, make sure this is running. It's, it's ran for a little bit. I haven't said letting it run for a ton of time, uh, but it does look like it's holding up. We'll have definitely have to check on this, maybe hopefully by the end of the episode, to make sure it's still holding up. We're only going at one time speed, so it's not like we're like, you know, flying by to see exactly what it looks like. Obviously, if I really wanted to, get to this done faster. I definitely would speed it up so I could see faster. Um, with that said, let's go ahead and talk about this episode. So I have three cities with no goods going to it. So I think I at least need one good going to every city. I think that's where I need to start. Unfortunately, with Hartford, we ain't got none of this going on yet. So let's skip that one right now. Then we got Englewood once again. Um, I don't think I realized that pre-recording, but they were demand the exact same goods. Uh, so nothing's happening there. Glendale requires uh, construction material, which we are making. Unfortunately, we are making it on the other side of the map. And I don't think that's going to be efficient at all. I don't think it's going to be efficient or even feasible to send construction material the whole way across this map. Remember, we're playing on a, a one by three map. So it's really, it's, it's short going across, but it's really long going this way. And this would be, we would need probably three trains or so uh, going to Glendale to make this work. So I think what I'm going to do is actually just do a little small hookup route. I think I'm going to use whatever wagons we have available, the best wagon we have available, and just set this up as a wagon route. We'll deliver a stone, stretch material, and then have the stretch material going in uh, to Glendale. Unfortunately, this is not ideal because it looks like we're going to be having um, wagons go through the residential area, which is not something you really want. You really don't want that to happen. I mean, all right, so let's put it this way. I don't think I really care about the cost. So we're not going to be, we're not going to be, we're not going to be that profitable with this. We're, we're going to be, a, we're going to be, uh, I wish to say pollution emission conscious. Uh, that's how we're going to treat this. Um, and we're going to set up just a line that takes stone down to bricks. And then we'll have a separate line that runs bricks into Glendale. And we can do some shenanigans to keep the people, the wagons, so to speak. Uh, the delivery of the Christian materials out of the downtown residential area. We'll have them come in this way. And if you're wondering how I'm going to pull it off, well, I'm going to stop talking about it and we're just going to start doing. Uh, so first things first, let's go ahead and get this Christian material going. Um, so yeah, it feels weird doing a, uh, you know, a traditional uh, road route right right now. But I think a, and at the end of the day, I think it's our best option here. I think it's better. It's going to be our better option than doing a train. Um, I'm pretty positive of that. And feel free to tell me in the comments down below if you would disagree with this, this method right here. But once again, I'm going for not money making efficiency, but uh, pollution wise, trying to keep the pollution down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this come in. Actually, we may have it come in this way. So we're gonna build a new road. And we definitely we just want this thing to connect up as much as possible. All right, so once we deliver, uh, let's not let me let me not think of that right now. Let's uh turn on our little bendy route and let's do this thing where I think I've shown you guys this in the past how I like to do these roads and make them look a little natural. So I just try to you know turn on the bendy tool and then just try to bend them to like dodge all everything like rocks, trees, everything. Just have it dodge. You don't make it too big, so that way it stays a little... Actually, we're gonna aim for right there. Yeah, uh, where we? I gotta bend it up. I do know that much. I gotta do that. Uh, well, let's pass. Uh, I gotta bend it up. All right, let's do that. Like I said, we're just trying to follow uh, 
I don't know. This, this is the kind of way I do it, right? I, I don't know how to explain it other than this, and I probably should put the fast forward thing on. Uh, but I am not thinking clearly, apparently. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Fine. Looks, it looks natural like the game made it, not me. I'm bend it in there. Bend it back out this way. There we go. Let's line it up like that. And now we'll connect it up right about there. We didn't have to destroy a tree. All right. So it would come down here and we'll want to drop it off and then turn around. So buildings, we're going to do a drop off. That'll be back up. So we want to drop off this side. Now I could leave this like this and they'll automatically turn around. And I think that's what I'll do. Uh, they should automatically turn around. So if we go new route, boom, to bam, right? They automatically are going to turn around after they drop off. Um, not the prettiest thing. Like normally I'd put like a loop in here, but I, I think for this example where it's not going to block anything else that we want to do, uh, having them do a U-turn in the middle of the road, perfectly okay, at least in my book. All right, let's go ahead and give them a new color. Uh, we see we are doing stone. Let's find a grayish looking color. Let's name you. We are a road route and we are doing stone. Um, it's called a material plant. I don't know. I'm not sure what the actual name of this thing is. What are you? Construction materials plant. Materials plant, I like that. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is find a good place for a depot. Because we're gonna set up other lines, we are going to put the depot somewhere down here. Um, it's gonna suck because they're all gonna have to go up that way to collect and then come back. So it's gonna lose me money off the bat. But once again, if you guys have been following along, you've been, you've been hearing me say we're making money, so we're okay. Uh, we're making money, so we're okay. Uh, let's go ahead and, it's okay if I put it up this way because It'll travel a little bit to get on to the next route I build, but it won't be too bad. All right, that looks good there. All right, let's go ahead and make a lot of these guys. Let's go ahead, let's do a filter here for cargo, see what we're working with. Uh, this is four at 18 and we got two, we had to do five and 20. We just need to find the one that does stone. Um, so I think because we have a few of these going right here and they accept all cargo, I like to do the ones that, you know, when it's, 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 Define right because you can actually see them hauling this stuff around. So let's go ahead uh, build it eight to start And let it go um, We're gonna go ahead and leave this on one speed. We do want to add more vehicles on but I'm gonna build a lot before I start duplicating these and why am I not? I'm not seeing them because I didn't put them on a route There we go now come out of there. Look at you guys go. Oh look at you Look at you look at you go You see them all layered on top of each other in there. It's pretty funny. All right, let's let them be. Let's get planning here. So next stop is we want to create another depot. It'd be nice if I type the right menu. Now this one, I am going to give it a little bit of a longer, no, not that. A little bit of a longer platform so we don't lose material. Um, once again, hard mode, uh, especially when you're doing like road routes, uh, this, this stuff doesn't really make you money and it has an expense. So you try to be as frugal as possible. That's fine right there. All right. And then what we're going to have is where do we accept construction material? And if you, if I say bricks, excuse me guys, because that's what I see. All right. So you guys are over here and we want to keep you away from All right, so if you come in like this, or if we have you come in, ah, see, I want to avoid, I want to avoid residential at all possible. All right, so what, oh, so first things first, let's go ahead and use this connection right here. I don't think we're going to be able to clear construction altogether. I really don't. Let's see that's where that's going to go. Okay. All right. So it should go this way. And I think it's going to loop around to residential, unfortunately. 
Um, oh, this new route here, I might end up taking that. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but we put that in. Uh, we'll see the city builds out, because eventually I think maybe we'll put another. Like, we could probably take this one straight out. Like that. And then we can also upgrade. All right, so it can come in this way. It's still going to go out that way, unfortunately. All right, let's go ahead and uh, set the route here real quick. New route. All right, so we're definitely going to need some wave points. Let's go ahead and name this real quick. Uh, oof. I'm going to call this road delivery. Uh, construction material. I really had to come up with permanent abbreviations. I don't think I do have permanent abbreviations. Um, so that's on me. All right, we're going to Glendale. I think we can call it. Maybe I'll do it between episodes. Figure out what I want to call everything permanently. And... Where did you go? Let's go ahead and give you a better color. I do like the color. I don't like red because I do red for fuel. Uh, I feel like orange is going to be my best bet for construction material. All right. So we want to add some wave points in here. Like I said, we want to keep this away from residential. So let's go ahead and put in... Uh, not that way. Wave points. All right. So first wave point, we want it to be over here. Oh, which way did I put that? No, it's going down that way. Nope, wrong place. All right, so waypoints there. So let's go back to you. Manage line. After Glendale South, hit up this waypoint. There we go. And then. All right, for now, what we're going to do is we're going to put another waypoint. I wish there was a way to do this while in the screen, but it is what it is. Oh, they're going to cross over. Oh, dang it. I should have put this in the opposite way. Um, it's never too late to change my mind, I think. All right, so let's go this way. Let's go that way. I think I'm gonna get alerts when I do this with this side. Alright, let's go there and then let's go down here. Buildings. And let's put one on the opposite side. And delete this one. Alright, now what kind of a mess did I make? Actually, not too bad. Alright, Glen South. You're hitting the other one. After 10th Street, we're gonna come back up this way. Um, okay. I don't want to leave that be. I want to, I need, <laughs> oh, oh, every time you think you get it right. This is what happens if you try to make manual routes to avoid your residential area. It can be a hot mess. All right. Glenn South. All right. So at least it's. We'll just go ahead and put that in right now. So at least it's it's recognized here. If it if it builds another road through here, we'll probably go down that way and wrap around. We'll, we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. You never know which way it's going to expand either. So, uh, but for now, that's good. It's going to keep them mostly out of our residential area. It's not perfect, but it will do. Manage vehicles. We want to go ahead and clone all these while we're at it. All right. And then we want to look at getting uh, vehicles on this route. We don't want to start with too many. Mainly, well, actually, we probably should do is... I say don't start with too many, but you might as well just go ahead and... Wow, that's a lot. Um, put enough on to meet this demand, which is 95, which is actually more than I was expecting. Um, I don't think... Yes, you can deliver bricks, so let's go ahead and use you. Let's go ahead and start with... Let's start with eight. Um, they're obviously going to lose me a lot of money here to start, but uh, that's okay. And I can't find the route to put them on. RD construction Glendale. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Brain lapse there, guys. I was thinking, I was like, oh my, is this really Glendale? Yep. It's Glendale. I don't know how I uh, mixed that up. All right. So now we're going to take a look at our routes here. Let's keep a look at what we can, uh, what we can see and keep an eye on. And it's just these two. So we want to keep an eye on is the, the route 
the rates. The rates are what's mostly important. And these, obviously, I know we can put a lot more on. Um, but actually, believe it or not, right now, they're kind of balanced. <laughs> the stone will bring in just enough to feed this other demand. Um, interesting enough. So we can do, we can actually double up on construction, which is weird. Really weird. We will. We'll double up. We'll wait till all eight of these guys get out, and then we'll start doubling up on these. Now with this guy, now with these guys, right? We can, we can, uh, we can consume 100. I believe you produce more than 100, but we can only make 100 because of this. All right. So we don't want this rate to be more than 100. So we could basically uh, double what we have currently and be good. Uh, but I do want to spread them out a little bit. So we do that. All right, there you guys go. We'll release another eight and then we'll be at our 100 rate. And actually, if I was smart about it, I wouldn't even go up to 100, but I know we'll easily satisfy this demand. So I'm going, I'm going to push it, I'm going to push it. Uh, so what I mean by this, while we're waiting for all this stuff to spread out, which I could speed it up, which I, I will a little bit here while I explain. So to get this to upgrade, I believe this is all you got to hit. I, I thought it originally was seven, it was 80%, but I think all you need is hit 75%. So once we produce more than 75, we ship more than 75, which we'll easily do because Glendale is requiring more than 75 and we hit the transport numbers. This will upgrade and start accepting 200, which means we can even put more wagons on this route. Um, yeah, lots and lots and lots of good stuff. All right. So you guys are kind of separate. Let's go ahead and manage vehicle. And duplicate. All right, there's the 100. We'll definitely, like I said, we'll definitely satisfy that and we'll leave that be. And I just want to double these guys up. I want to get all these guys are cleared out and then I'll double these guys up. So this is one of those things we'll just manage. Now this, this line I already know is not going to make me a ton. We will make money on this line in the future once we're able to upgrade the vehicles and have uh, cargoes, car, basic cargoes that can transport more and at a faster speed. Uh, we'll definitely start making money with these goods, but in early ages and before the 1900s and these early wagons, you don't really make money on this cargo route, especially when they're not, when they're running empty one direction. And it looks like we're still making tons of money, even though this, these, uh, <laughs> these vehicles are, or I should say this entire route currently is losing me money, but it's not a ton of money compared to what I'm bringing in. So, um, yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Six million, six and a half million. Woo. Sweet stuff. All right. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Um, yeah, yeah, this will probably let it run. So this is a little, so we're bringing in 91. Our demand should be 90. Yeah. We're going to be fine. This is going to grow in demand two goods, uh, by the time we come back for the next episode. So I'm going to let this be going to let this settle. Um, and what like I said, this will upgrade to 200 or this will, I should say this will great upgrade to 200 here soon which means that we can deliver 200 rocks, which means we can double up this entire line, which I, I just may just all in one go, just chuck it. These guys will eventually spread out. So I don't, I'm not that worried about it. And I'm not really losing enough, not losing money to really be that concerned about it. So let's take another look at Glendale. I actually, that's what I wanted to see this passenger route. It looks like it is stable. Not much to worry about. We have one location at nine, um, the train station themselves. I mean, nothing fantastic. This should be generating passengers. Um, so if this is not generating passengers, it's something I should really keep my eye on. Um, yeah, we should have to keep on it as the population here is pretty big. This should demand travel. Uh, Hartford, just checking the things that are connected to it. Where's this train at currently? On its way in with 20. Actually, that's not bad. No, it's over 50% capacity. It sh if it, as long as it keeps going 50% capacity back and forth, it will break even. Um, I actually got a pretty straight line. And that's the one we did a bunch of earthworks on. Definitely a straight line. Just got to get it cleaned up a little bit. Um, these are good. Tons of tools here. Uh, do I want to do a deep dive? Not yeah. This episode is almost all wrapping up. I don't want to do a deep dive. Uh, so let's not do it. Uh, let's go ahead and Carl's bad. Look at Carl's bad. This is, oh, we're not losing passengers here yet. Um, Chesapeake people want to go to Chesapeake. People want to go to Inglewood. How's, how's this going back here? 16 and rest zero and not enough for her to make me want to do something quite yet. 
Oh, Chesapeake has got a big guy con. What do you got going on here? Oof. Where's this train at? You're pulling in. All right. Makes sense. You probably got a big drop off. I mean, everything looks good. I'm not seeing anything that's alarming that I absolutely need to fix right away. I mean, I do see some big icons on uh, material stuff, which is something we got to dive into, but I'm not going to do it with this much time left in this episode. It's, it's not, it's not a thing we want to do. Uh, we finally got some bricks down here, guys. We got some bricks. Uh, there shouldn't be too much of a backlog here. Uh, we will slightly bring in more material than what, than what we can deliver. That's fine. A little bit of backlog never hurt anybody, uh, but it will take some time for that backlog to have to, you know, start collecting up. Um, we're getting close, getting close, getting close. This will upgrade. So all fantastic stuff, guys. I think we have enough time in that. I think we just need to call it right there. Let's zoom in. Let's watch this thing in action uh, in a faster, in the, in a fast speed setting. Why not? Let's go ahead and zoom you around so we can get a better thing. But uh, guys, let's go do it for this episode. I mean, we got church material going to Glendale. Uh, I guess my two options here are going forward. Yep, there's Glendale uh, requesting more goods, which I knew was exactly going to happen because they were on the verge of, of, of requesting more goods. So I knew it was going to happen. Um, so yeah, next episode one, we should probably look into either de developing goods or fuel at some point because we have a demand in two cities that don't have any goods yet. And we probably should at least get start getting them one so they can start to grow um, and not also start to start building the network for those goods. Um, and we got a lot of other things that we definitely have a big surplus in some other places that we should probably look to see if we can deliver. So there is a lot going on. We've got a lot of different options. What am I going to do next? We got to tune in for it. Before you go, thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Turn on that notification bell so you can catch what's next. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.